It is January 18th. Um, so, <laughs> I'm excited. Um, school's going to start in a couple hours. I have two clients before. Um, and I, I logged on to my course ahead of time just to kind of get, get familiar with, you know, online school. Um, and I'm looking at the syllabus, I'm like, oh, dang, like, I'm actually going to do a presentation and, and, um, with one of the, um, I mean, there's just a lot of requirements. I was like, oh, 15 hours of volunteer work. <laughs> just, just kind of like looking at it, I'm like, okay, okay, I can do this, right? I can do this. It's 15 hours over the course of the next few months, okay? And, um, it's, and, and there's going to be like presentations and stuff. <laughs> so it's just a little bit anxiety. I'm just like, okay, it's been a while that I go back to school. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to learn. I'm really, I think I'm really excited to learn about the politics surrounding um, sexual violence and, and, you know, just, it's an element, right, of the reality of the situation. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, and, and so then I, I started, um, so I was looking at some of the like, videos. <laughs> I'm having breakfast right now like 12 30 um but I was having breakfast and um I'm getting stuff ready right like I'm gonna record I'm, I'm going to record my my intro videos like I'm already start recording for for the other YouTube channel and, and just kind of start getting that all set up and um I found some good links my good friend um who owns a lot of businesses responded back and and so I'm looking some of those terms up just informing myself really and um just doing the legwork right doing the the behind the scenes stuff and um getting all that situated and so i'm, I'm just preparing figuring out okay this is the space right what to use right you use what you have and uh so i, so I put mj's link so I guess it's a twin flame reading. <laughs> it's just, so she's, you know, is this quinkadinky? <laughs> she's she's talking about um, a lot of fear. People, people are, the thing is like, <laughs> the, she she's describing. I think there's an element where she's describing kind of my dream, which is what's posting like these next, the one I posted yesterday, the one that posted this morning and the one that's going to post tomorrow. It's that big dream that I have about the clearing and, and where I'm trying to like dissect it and figure it out and in the awareness that I have. Right. And, and even though there's chaos, there's chaos because they're being thrown into the water, right? The element of like this cleansing, right? Tapping into your emotions, spiritual awakening, really, is what's happening. And, but people don't know what it is, and so they're freaking out. And, and they're just knowing, and they're fearing, right? There's just so much emotion in, in that process, clearly, right? I've been wrong from the beginning. Um, so, so intuitively, like, I knew that that's what was unfolding. So it's funny to hear, and I guess I'll link it, the, the twin flame reading your your great wave of weights is what it's called um for january 18th and um so it's funny because she's like the great wave <laughs> the same time, it was like there was a big wave right tipping over um but she talks about like people are going to be fearful and, and and then i mean she's she's predicting right what's what's going to happen and it's funny because she, She's just making certain comments, right? And I'm just like thinking, she makes certain certain descriptions that that this set of people collectively, right, twin flames or whatever, are going to be like the the the, the um the spiritual parents. <laughs> and so you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of the story, and I think I've shared it. I shared it recently too about my ex and I. Um, how with my family we became 
we were like, and I termed it that, spiritual parents. But really, I mean, I did most of the talking. <laughs> I, I did most of it, really. But, um, but there was that feeling of like, you know, taking on that role of a parent, taking on the role of a parent for people who are lost, right? Emotionally, like not knowing and, and, and just even for my siblings, like we had taken on that. They had put us on this role. So she names that term and I'm like, and so I'm digging back there and, and the thing is like, it didn't scare me. What she was saying didn't scare me. And, and like I knew, like I knew I could handle it. It was just snowing. I'm like, I, got, I can handle it. But I just thought that was interesting. Just, you know, it was a quick good and gay. <laughs> Only time will tell. So anyways, I just wanted to speak to that, um, that, you know, connection, really. Your great wave awaits. And she's talking about like, she's fearing like people's fear and anxiety. And I'm like, oh yeah, I felt that one a few months back. <laughs> but it happens to be the videos that I'm posting right now. So, um, so I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah. And I was, I think there was a part of it where I was like, I haven't meditated today. Only because I'm like trying to, um, get stuff done. And, um, I'm going to meditate. But at the same time, there was that feeling of like, I was checking out to see what um, waves I was describing to see, does it make sense? Does it make sense for me now? Right? Like, like, does it make sense for me now in listening to it? Like the other ones where it was a clear, like, you know, when I was preparing it and then Allie said, it's like, you're growing but apart. And then this one, it, this one I, I talk about, there's a, um, but, but the future, <laughs> the future is stronger. In, in what I'm doing and and I mean I haven't had any contact with him I'm not planning to but um I know where I need to go right <laughs> and this is all hypothetical hypothetical um yeah but anyways I just thought that was funny um so okay I have 30 minutes um, wanted to take care of your things before I see my clients, and then, um, just, it's gonna get busy. It's, it's it, it, you know, some of the other videos that I was preparing, I'm slowly building up my caseload, and I'm feeling the pain, and I'm listening, and I'm like, oh, wow, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, I'm, the amount of work that I have now it's definitely more than when I started, but it's just so interesting to see myself describe like how the little bit of work that I had was triggering me and, and how I had to really like learn how to balance all of that, learn how to balance work all over again. Um, and just how my body was just kind of showing indicators, you know? So I thought that was neat that um, to see my own progression, to see my own growth in, in terms of what I'm, I'm you know, capable of handling, I guess, right? So I liked that, that I had that visual representation of my own growth. Mm. Okay, that's all. All right, bye. Hi, my name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learned to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, 
know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node. Um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, right? <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just, just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So 